The Dirty Martini has been really popular the last few years. So today on Let's Talk Drinks, I'm going to show you how to make one. Hi everybody. One of the cocktails that we get asked for a lot are martinis. Um, now probably about 60-70% of the time, it's someone that hasn't drank a martini before. If you want to learn how to order a martini, check out the video at the end of this one. It's everything on how to order a proper martini. But today I'm going to do a dirty martini, which is extremely popular. And what are the differences? There's not a lot of a difference in there, so let's just get straight into it. First thing that we're going to call for is 60 mils of a quality gin. I'm going to use the 18th Amendment Bar Australian Dry Gin that were created by, that was created by three of us here, Indra, Damien and I. We come up with the recipe at the Imbue Distillery in, in Melbourne and with the expertise of Mick and Mel, uh, they helped distill this and we're so happy with uh, the way that our gins have come out. We've got an old Tom and an Australian Dry. It's got your international botanicals as well, you know, you've got your juniper and stuff like that, but some also some, some botanicals from Australia like strawberry gum, mountain pepperberry, aniseed myrtle, uh, lamb and lime. There's a lot of different uh, botanicals in there, so give it a try, check it out. It's available through Paramount Liquor and HairyDog.com here in Australia. For our American viewers, hopefully one day it'll get over there too, but um, unfortunately, sorry, uh, this is more for your Aussie viewers, but you can use another gin in a dirty martini doesn't have to be the 18th amendment obviously so 60 mils two ounces next up we're going to use some dry vermouth i like a little bit on the wet side so i'm going to do 15 mils i'm using the dolan dry vermouth at the moment I'm going to add just a couple little dashes of bitters to this one too just some orange bitters one two little dashes there stir it down while I'm getting ready to stir that down, what I normally do is when somebody asks for a dirty martini, what we're doing is we're adding the olive brine to it. However, olive brine can be pretty strong, so I will always ask how dirty do you like it? Do you want it Christina Aguilera dirty or Jenna Jamison dirty, okay? So I'm going to do about 10 mils, which I think is sort of in between, but you can adjust the amount of olive brine that you like in it. That's the element that's making it dirty, okay? I'm just gonna give that a stir down. Why is everybody asking for dirty martinis? I mean, they're a great drink anyway, but I found that when Pink bought out one of her songs and she, she sang, uh, I drink so many martinis, I like it dirty, I found that there was a bit of a spike. But a lot of our younger customers don't really drink martinis, so they found it difficult to drink. All I'm doing now is just diluting and chilling down the cocktail. Now, I always like to chill down my glassware. Normally use a little bit of ice if I'm doing it at home, but at 18th, we do have some liquid nitrogen. So I want that martini glass, I'm using a Nick and Nora, to be super, super cold and crisp the cocktail because it takes a little while to drink a martini and you want it to be chilled. Pretty warm day here in Australia at the moment. I think it's uh, Celsius, it's about 32 out there. Probably not martini drinking weather, but um, I think you drink a martini anytime, especially for breakfast. All right, let's discard that liquid nitrogen because we can't drink that. And we're just single straining into the Nick and Nora glass. Beautiful. And for my garnish, I'm going to do three olives because I like to eat the olives as I'm having my dirty martini. That is the dirty martini. And it's probably, hmm, who could it be? Who's in between Christina Aguilera and Gemma Jamison? Say Megan Fox, maybe? No, let's give it a try. Oh, all right. That gin is really good. I'm not just saying that, that it's because it's ours, but that juniper is just punching straight through. The nice bitterness from the pepperberry, that strawberry gum's coming through as well. As the citrus, it's working really well uh, with the, the dry vermouth and the brine. Mm. Let's give it a... Beautiful. 
Mm. Get rid of the pip. Guys, that is a dirty martini. Adjust it how you like. Super simple to make. You can put this into a bottle, keep it in the freezer, pour it straight out, add a little bit of water to it though for dilution. If you want to make them pre-batched at home, that's what I do. Guys, please like, subscribe. See you again soon on Let's Talk Drinks.